guys for today's video we're gonna be doing a New Year's look it's not really a tutorial it's more of like a try to get ready with me let's talk goals let's talk 2020 let's get ready together let's do makeup I just wanted to chat with you guys because I've been very absent on YouTube obviously and I wanted to just talk and do makeup along the way I get a little in my feels I guess but sometimes you just need to do that. Sometimes it's healthy to just let it out. I hold a lot of emotions in, which is not healthy. So yeah, if you want to see that, then just go ahead and keep watching. We'll get into it right now. I really want to talk 2020. I want to talk about next year, what I have planned, what I would like to do, changes that I would like to make, not to get all like motivational speaker on you, I just kind of want to have a little bit of a deeper conversation. I'm using the Tati Beauty palette. I posted this on my Insta stories and so many people were like, I'm waiting for a review. I'm not going to do a full review. There's so many reviews out already and it's been out for probably like two months now. It's beautiful. It's beautiful quality. Very beautiful. Asia got this for me for my birthday. I really do like it. So I'm going to take this shade right here this is kind of like a satin with a little bit of shimmer to it I love the satins in this palette they're so pretty so this is the sequin soothe color I also love the way she did her shades I think that's really different I don't know that I've seen anything like that where it's just glitter metallic sequin and then matte and then they all have the same name that's really cool it's different so this has a bit of a sheen to it and I'm gonna take this in my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. I know some people are like, bitch, why are you doing that? But I like it and I'm doing something different. I really miss interacting with you guys. I miss talking to you. I miss posting videos. Um, what do you guys have planned for the new year? Let me know below if you're going to stay home and do something low key. Are you going to go out? Are you going to have a party? Are you going to go out downtown or something like that? So me and Matthew used to go out every year for New Year's. We used to go to this thing called BLT and it's a like a local thing, obviously. Like, why did I say that? Here in Houston, they don't do it anymore. They stopped actually doing it, I think, two or three years ago, maybe. 94.5 The Buzz, which is uh, Houston's rock station. They used to host this. It was kind of like you'd bar hop. It was in this section of downtown where it would start at this place called Lucky's Pub, Warehouse Live. I can't remember the other bar, but it was like three bars that were all connected. You can walk through um, each of them to go to bar to bar, like within the building. So they kind of had the whole block blocked off and you would buy tickets and it was unlimited alcohol. Each bar would have a band in it and it was just so much fun. And then at the very, um, at the last bar, they would do a balloon drop and it was so much fun. We did that. I think we went to that like three or four years in a row and it was so much fun. The tickets were so expensive. Like they were really pricey, but we were like, it's New Year's. Eventually they stopped doing it. Um, I guess it kind of died down and they didn't really do it anymore. So for the last couple of years, we've just been kind of spending it with family. And also we're older, so that's what we do now. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one next. The shade Ritual, the matte one. It's a really pretty dark brown. I'm just gonna pop this underneath and kind of drag it down into the outer V. And then last year, our really good friends had a New Year's party and it was so much fun. They throw the best parties. Like they are just wholesome, laid back, fun. It's nothing crazy. It's not like a wild college house party. It's like, just the best time. We just had a blast. It was fun to just be close to home. What's so funny is before we moved, they lived right down the street from us. We were always together because they lived so close by. And when we moved, they actually ended up moving like they, they just moved. So they moved like very shortly after we did. And they moved into a neighborhood that's like six minutes away. <laughs> it's so convenient because when we moved, we were probably like 15 minutes away from them. And now they're in the neighborhood. Like literally it's just like a bloop bloop and they're right there. It's so funny. Cause I'm like, yeah, that worked out perfectly because I have to be close to all the people that I love and I'm needy like that. So I was so happy when I heard they were moving. They said they got the moving bug because we moved and then they started looking at houses and I was like, fine by me. Totally random side note I told you I just I want to talk to you guys because I miss you um so yeah that's what we did last year we went to their house for a party and they're hosting their new year's party again this year in their new house I'm really excited 
it's gonna be so much fun and that's what we're doing again this year and I can't wait I love New Year's I love doing really dramatic dark bold glam makeup because I don't really do a lot of dark colors like this anymore I'm gonna take it there bitch I'm gonna smoke it out I'm gonna bring this hoe to life mmm so the reason I've been really absent on YouTube is I was kind of getting back into the swing of things since we moved and I have my own filming room now and I can film whenever I want I can film any time of day because it's my own space the chaos of moving is always really chaotic like okay hello duh it took us a really long time to settle into our house I didn't think it would because we really didn't have stuff. I feel like now that we have our own house and we're homeowners, I'm just constantly doing house stuff. It's like every day, I gotta do this for the house, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Does that ever go away? You guys are gonna have to let me know if you're homeowners, because we're first time homeowners. Um, we actually lived with my mother-in-law while we were saving for our house to help us save money. And so even though, like, you know, I still cleaned, I still cooked, I still did all that, it's just not the same when it's not your house. It's cool, but it's weird. Uh, but yeah, just, it took us a really long time to settle in and get everything together. And then the holidays came up, of course. My best friend came to visit. I talked about in a, a recent video. She was here for a week. That was Thanksgiving. And then Christmas just snuck up. And honestly, it's just been a really hard year. And then we had a death in the family. My great grandma passed away. She's my, she was my my grandma's mom she was a lovely just wonderful human being and she was just sick for a long time she had dementia um, she was very very old I think she was 91 or 92 I, I can't remember I want to say she was 92 but she uh, it was just her time and you know she was living a really painful life she was suffering she just wasn't herself anymore and it was her time, she's at peace now. But that was really hard on my grandma. So my grandma that I'm talking about is my mom's mom. My That side of the family is massive. Uh, my grandma is one of six. I have like second and third cousins from that side of the family. They're like that, that side of the family is massive. So it was just, it was hard on everyone because she was the matriarch of the family. When you lose your mom, it doesn't matter what age it is or what, you know, if she's been sick for a while or anything like that, it's always hard. So uh, it was just, it was a really tough time. I needed to be there for my grandma and for my family. So we actually drove to El Paso because my great grandma, so we called her Gigi. My Gigi was from El Paso. Her husband who passed away before I was born. When he passed away, he was in the army and so he was buried in the military cemetery down in El Paso. She always said when she was gonna die that she was gonna be buried with him. So we all had to drive to El Paso. It's a 12 hour drive from Houston. But of course, you know, you make stops, you have to go to the bathroom, fill up gas, eat, stuff like that. It turned into like, a 14 hour drive. It was a very, very long, um, you know, emotionally draining, draining because you're driving for so long and, you know, just a hard time. So we were in El Paso for a couple of days for the funeral and we just got back actually right before Christmas and everybody's kind of down and, you know, sad because Gigi passed away. And it just, I don't know, I I'm ready for this year to be over. It was a really hard year um, in general. I feel like for like, not just my family, but for me, um, it was probably like just the worst year of my life. I'm ready for it to be over. This is what I have on my lid and I'm gonna drag it across. It's the Memory Metallic shade. I'm gonna take it on my pinky and tap it onto my lid and kind of fade it into the black. That's kind of what's been going on these last few months. Just, it's been a really hard, like the end of the year for me and my family. Um, and I'm, I'm ready for this year to end. <laughs> I'm just fucking ready for it to be over. I'm ready for a new beginning. I love the idea of New Year's, even though it's kind of like, what's the difference between one day to the next? I just love the idea of like a new fresh start. I love Mondays for that reason. I feel like Mondays are just a fresh new start to the week. And if I have a bad week personally, my mentality is always, okay, you know what, Monday, let it go, start over, try to just do the best you can from this week forward. And I, I love that idea and it's definitely easier said than done, but I love New Year's just for that reason because it's like a whole fresh new year. Put the previous year, even though it was just the last day you were in 2019, 
just put the whole year behind you and move forward. And I think that's what I'm gonna try to do this year. It was a very, very hard, shitty year. The entire year was just tough. We bought our house this year and I am so grateful. I'm so happy for that. That was definitely the highlight of my year at least. But the rest of the year was just, it fucking sucked. And I don't like to talk about my problems because I like to come on here and be fun and joke around with you guys and talk about makeup and I don't want this channel to be like a sad channel and I don't think there's anything wrong with talking about stuff like that. That's just not personally what I want for my channel and you know, I like to talk to you guys and of course I like to vent and I'll tell you things that are going on but I don't want to come on here and talk about my depression. I don't want to come on here and talk about God, this is the worst thing ever. This happened and this happened. I just want to come on here and be an escape because for me, when I'm having a really bad day or I'm going through something, my escape is YouTube and I love to just lay in bed and watch makeup videos and that makes me happy and I wanna be that for somebody else, that's why they're here. I don't wanna put the negativity out there. I want this channel to be a fun, happy space and we're moving forward from this point on. What I did next was I took this shade here. This is the Memory Glitter and you know what? I feel like I need to do a little more blending. I'm kind of far from my mirror. Yeah, I can't really see. I'm gonna just blend this a little bit more, okay? And then I'm gonna take my pinky with the glitter shade. I'm gonna tap this just in the center, like this, just so if your your eye shifts a certain way, it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think if you're interested in this palette, you will really like it. I just, I highly recommend it. This is my IT Cosmetics Superhero, I think. I'm almost out and I'm sad because I really like this mascara. For because I think it's like $25 and I ain't about that expensive ass mascara life. I totally forgot to do liner, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and just tap it right there. These lashes are new and I've only worn them once, but I love them. They're so pretty. You can see they're very dramatic, very long, but they're still kind of separated so you can see the eye. These are Lily lashes, the premium sim 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 synthetic. <laughs> The premium synthetic lashes. These are faux mink and these are in the style Dallas. And I I got these on Black Friday. I think they were only $5, but I believe they're only 10 regular price. So pretty affordable, I would say. And I'm gonna pop these on my eye and then I will come back and we'll finish the face. We'll talk about some more chit chat if you guys wanna hear it. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did some moisturizer. My skin is so dry right now. I noticed when I was doing my skincare this morning that it was starting to peel over here and kind of around my nose. I've been doing really hydrating skincare at night, like really rich um, creams and serums and stuff, so I don't know what's happening. So I'm just using this today, the No Problem Prime Essence. For foundation, I have a new one, and it's this one from YSL, the All Hours Foundation. I've been wanting to try this forever, and I finally bit the bullet. So um, in my testing new makeup video, I ended up returning the uh, foundation, the Smashbox foundation, which I hated, you guys know that. And so I got this one instead. This is in the shade, I think it's Warm Caramel, and I love it. It is beautiful. It's a nice, thin consistency, but it is really pigmented which is what I like in a foundation. I didn't like the Smashbox one because it was so thick and you don't need a ton. I probably do like maybe two pumps. The pumps aren't that heavy. They don't disperse a lot of product. I can't remember if I talked about this or not in a video because it's been so long since I filmed one. But yeah, this is what I've been just really loving. It does have a smell to it, but it's just so beautiful. It's kind of like a medium coverage, but you can build it up to be a little more full. So if my skin's acting out, that day, I can build it up in certain areas, but I love that it's not super full or cakey or anything like that, and it lasts a pretty good amount of time on my face. I also ended up returning the Hourglass palette. I remember in the video, I was like, oh, I really like it, it's so pretty. I, I know I said I wasn't sure about the blushes, but the more I played with it, I just, I don't know, I just, I really didn't like the blush colors, and I love the bronzer, but the biggest thing that really turned me off from it was my bronzer brushes are really big. I love a big, fluffy bronzer brush, and all of my bronzer brushes are like that, and I could not get my brush inside the pan because it was so small, and I was like, man, that's kind of the thing that was keeping me, was really the bronzer 
And I like the highlights too. They just weren't something that I would use on an everyday basis and I was like, I'm not too crazy about the blush. Jesus, earring, get out of my way. <laughs> but I just didn't see myself using them that often and I was like, Jesus Christ, for $80, I wanna like every single thing in the palette and I just didn't. I think what I'll do is I'll just buy the bronzer separate. I did look for it there, but I think they were sold out of the one that I wanted. So that's that. I wanted to update you guys on that. I tried the Anastasia lashes again and I still don't like them. I'm gonna try them one more time and if they still don't work for me, I'm probably gonna give them to my sister. She takes anything I don't like. Like she's not picky like I am. Is this gonna be a boring video if we talk about some 2020 goals? I wanna share mine with you. You guys, please feel free to share yours with me as well. I love getting inspiration from other women and just other people in general. So if you guys would please leave me your 2020 goals. I would love to just read through them and kind of just get inspired. I like to share these things with you and I hope you guys feel comfortable sharing them with me. And I would just love to read what other people have to say. I have a couple of goals. I wanna finish furnishing this house. It's taking forever for us to furnish. I mean, we did just move in two months ago. I want everything to be perfect because it's my first home. I like don't wanna buy things too quickly because some of the things that I bought already, I wish I waited. I think I was just so excited to buy. I bought some things before we even moved in and they, don't, they didn't end up working out. So I'm kinda like stuck with them, you know? It's also very expensive to furnish a house since like I said, we didn't have anything. Um, so that's gonna take time just to save the money to buy everything else. I'm still doing a house tour, I promise. I'm probably gonna film it next week because I just bought a coffee table. I just finally found a rug that hopefully I love. Um, so that should be coming next week. And I think once I get the rug and the coffee table, the living room will be almost complete. I know people have been asking, even my sister, the one who still lives overseas, was like, you never filmed a house tour. And I was like, I know, I just, I'm still waiting for some things to come together because when I filmed my original one, I didn't have time to, um, film an empty house tour because the day that we closed on the house, we were actually able to move, move in. So we actually had to push our closing date back or our walkthrough because somebody broke into the house and stole all of the appliances, which apparently they say that people do that with new neighborhoods. It was the day before our inspection because we were coming to the house every day at that point towards the end and checking it out. The inspector emailed um, my husband and was like, hey, you don't have any appliances. They were literally ripped out. They stole the fridge, the water heater, and I believe the stove and the micro, like I think they stole all the appliances. So we couldn't do the inspection. The inspection had to be pushed back, which pushed back the walkthrough, which pushed back the closing date. We didn't have a ton of things we needed to fix on our inspection. So when we did the walkthrough, the guy who did our walkthrough was like, we can actually like get these things all done today if you feel comfortable closing and that's exactly what we did. So what I wanted to do was after the closing date, come back and film an empty house tour, but it just didn't work out that way, which is fine. Um, and we had already had furniture and everything being delivered to the house. By the time I actually got around to filming like the house tour, cause I told you guys I filmed it and I didn't like it and I didn't end up posting it cause it was kind of rushed. Um, we kind of had like half furniture, half not. Like I think we had couches, but we didn't have any bedroom furniture or anything else. So I was like, I'm just gonna wait. I just wasn't happy with it. And it just, I don't know, it was like weird. I was like, why am I gonna do like a half-ass house tour? So now we have almost all the rooms filled except for our front room. We have a front room that I don't know what I wanna do with it yet. I think I'm gonna turn it into an office. That's kind of where my mind is. I just don't like have a vision for it. I feel like I had a vision for every single room in the house but not that front room. I don't really know what to do. But once the rug and then the coffee table comes in, I'll clean the house and make sure it looks really nice for you guys. And then I'll film a house tour. The house just isn't done yet, but I know you guys don't care. Um, I just, like so many people were like, I thought you were gonna film a house tour and it just, I don't know. It's like, I'm telling you, the end of the year for me just didn't work out at all. Nothing went as planned and I, I guess that's just, how it goes sometimes and that's fine. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline bronzer. I haven't used this in a couple of months, the City bronzer. I forgot how much I like this. I just got so into my Catrice one um, that I kind of forgot about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this again. I used it for the first time in a while over the weekend and I was like, 
why have I stopped using this? Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna use. I use the shade 200. Another thing that I really wanna do for 2020 is I really wanna take better care of myself. I'm very bad at taking care of me. I take care of my family and I take care of other people. I take care of my husband, I take care of my sister, I take care of my dog, my grandma. You know, I try to take care of other people before I take care of myself. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm such a good person, I put everybody before me, but I do. And it's not really so much like letting myself go. I don't feel like I did anything like that, but in certain aspects I did, like I'm really bad with doing skincare. Like my nighttime skincare, I get really lazy. I stop masking because I just don't, I don't know. It's just, I guess things come up. By the time I'm ready to do a mask, I'm tired and I wanna go to bed. And I just don't think about it during the day because I'm doing stuff around the house or I'm doing things for, you know, everybody else in the house. And I want to get better at doing things that are for me, you know, and not to be selfish or anything like that. But I think it's important to take care of yourself. And I just stopped doing that. Even doing simple things like just making sure I do my morning skincare and doing my nighttime skincare and like having a little spa day at home, waking up in the morning, getting ready for the day and doing my hair and makeup. Something else that I do is I don't get ready for the day. Like if I don't have to leave the house that day, I will sit in my pajamas. I won't do my hair, I won't do my makeup and it makes me feel kind of bad about myself. Not that you have to look perfect all the time. It's just there's something about getting ready for the day that makes me feel more productive like right now I'm filming a YouTube video I have my makeup done I kind of have my hair done it looks not that great but you guys get what I'm saying and I just I feel more productive I feel more confident I feel better about myself and that's something that I want to start doing in this upcoming year taking better care of myself maybe getting my nails done I don't even get my nails done anymore I don't do pedicures anymore I just I stopped doing stuff like that and I want to get back into just kind of I guess I don't want to say putting me first because I don't feel like that's the case I just kind of want to do more feel-good things for me I really want to get back into being really healthy like I used to be. I had um, a, a hormone issue a couple of years ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, it wasn't that long ago, but I, it really slowed down my metabolism and it, it made me gain a lot of weight. I gained like 40 pounds in a year and I don't talk about my weight. It is my absolute biggest insecurity of life. Anytime something comes up about weight, anytime somebody says something about my weight, anytime, anything comes up about my weight or my body image I just shut down because it is literally my biggest insecurity um, because I'm not happy with it I don't really want to say like I let myself go completely because some of it was out of my control I you know was on medication for a while things went back to normal and now everything is fine I've had a really hard time losing the weight that I put on I've had a really hard time getting back into eating really clean and eating really healthy and working out I know everybody starts their diet in the beginning of the year and I just want to take better care of myself or my health I want to be around for a long time I want to respect my body and stop putting bad foods in my body just taking care of myself and being around for a long time so I hate working out like literally I, I loathe it more than anything but I always did it and I always felt good when I was done the feeling of a badass workout was so empowering and it made me feel powerful and it made me feel strong and I loved it I used to work out with a trainer I stopped working out with her I just you know kind of fell off um, and I, I really I miss I miss that feeling I miss feeling confident and I miss feeling in control and I'm so sick of looking for an outfit for an event and dreading going shopping because I know nothing's gonna fit me and I know I'm not gonna be happy with anything I've never been able to jump back on and get back into working out and get back into eating healthy and that's another goal of mine is I want to be around for a long time and I just I want to take better care of my body inside and outside so that's another goal of mine also um, I would like to maybe start a family this year it's an idea I would love to be a mommy. I would love to have kids. I've, I've always wanted a big family. I am one of five so I have a big family and I couldn't imagine 
not having a big family, maybe not January 1st or even like within these next couple of months, but maybe, you know, it's just something we can look into later on in the year, possibly. Maybe after we get the house furnished and we kind of get settled into the house, it could be a thought. I feel my uh, biological clock ticking. <laughs> That's really what it is. And I know I'm only 30. People say this all the time. You're only 30, you're only 30, you're only 30. I feel old now that I'm 30, so that's something I really wanna do. I'm gonna take my Juvia's highlighter. I know I'm not really going into detail about products because I'm, I'm yapping so much, but I'll leave everything listed below. That's kind of another goal I wanted to have this year was maybe kind of talk about starting a family, being a little more serious about it. I also would like to be more business oriented, more career oriented. I would love to grow my business more, my freelance business. I would love to grow this channel more. I wanna do more things with this channel. I wanna get back on a regular schedule, uploading three times a week. I really like doing my two beauty videos and then more of a vlog style video once a week. I wanna do more house videos, more lifestyle videos. I'm not really into fashion too much, but I love like sharing, you know, going to home goods and home decor and things like that with you guys. Cooking videos, I love to cook, doing stuff like that. So I think that's another thing I wanna do. My ultimate goal one day is to start my own line. That's probably been a dream of mine since I was probably, I would say in high school, I've always wanted to have my own makeup line. I've been doing a lot of research on it and I don't know if it's something that is achievable this year. I don't know if the timing is right, but maybe just being more educated on it and just getting a little more serious about it, like saving money and kind of trying to transform it into a reality. I think that's something I'd really like to do. I know everybody comes out with a makeup brand these days, but this is something I've wanted to do since I was literally in high school. I've always wanted to have my own makeup brand. And I remember um, researching how did Revlon start? How did L'Oreal start? I remember looking up how to get your makeup brand into Target or Ulta and I don't know, I mean, you know, 10, well, let's see, I, I've been out of high school more than 10 years. I keep thinking I'm young, but I'm not. 12 years ago now, shit, I'm like really showing my age. The internet wasn't what it was today, back in 2007, 2008. I just remember kind of giving up and being like, oh, it'll just always be a dream. It'll always be a dream. It'll never happen for me and being really hard on myself. That's another thing I do is I'm very, very hard on myself and I criticize myself a lot and I'm, I'm very mean to myself and I wanna stop doing that. I wanna try to make that a reality or take the steps to make it a reality. I'm gonna take a ColourPop Ladybird and I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner. I want something really shiny. I'm trying to think, do I wanna use a brush, but I'm just gonna actually use my pinky. I'm just gonna pop this. Yeah, see that's, oh, bitch, bitch. I never feel myself. I'm always like, oh, you could have done better with your eyeshadow or oh, your lashes aren't on straight, your brows aren't even, I'm telling you, I am my worst critic. I am so mean to myself. And today I am just like, ooh, hot tamale, bitch. <clears throat> For my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna take the shimmer in the palette, this one right here. I want my brow bone to be a little more toned down. I think also what it is, is I, I really haven't, you guys, I haven't been wearing makeup. When I say I haven't been wearing makeup, I mean I haven't been wearing a lick of makeup, nothing. No, just a little bit of mascara, a little bit of foundation. It's like, I, it's all or nothing for me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do some brow gel. I am scraping the sides of my e.l.f. wow brow, and I know I have another brow gel somewhere. I just can't be bothered to look for it, so I'm gonna use this until it runs out. Just fill in the front, kind of fill in some gaps. I ran out of my CoverGirl pencil and I've been using my brow definer and I remember being so die hard for the brow definer last year and this year I'm like CoverGirl all the way. But I'm, I use my brow definer today and I like it but I, I miss the thin tip of my uh, CoverGirl one and I bought a new one. Like they've been sold out at every store I go to. I finally found one. It was like hiding behind another color and I can't find it. And I just bought a new one too and I lost it after we came back from El Paso. 
So that's two brow pencils missing. What's going on? Okay, let's do lips. I left all my lip liners downstairs, all of my dark brown ones, they're all in my purse. And I am way too lazy to go downstairs. So I'm gonna take this one. This is LA Colors Auto Lip Liner. I think this is, oh yeah, perfect brown. I'm gonna do my signature dark brown lip liner with a nude lip, revolutionary. I'm gonna take this lipstick from KKW Beauty. I can't remember if I shared this with you guys or not, but I love this lipstick. It's so beautiful and so creamy and pigmented. It's in the shade Nude 3 Cream. And you have to be careful because sometimes if you go over your lip liner, it will cover up the lip liner because it's so intense. And I'm gonna tap it in. This is a little more brown than I wanted with this look. I wanted to go more nude. So I'm gonna take this gloss from Maybelline. This is in the shade Tan Line. Just lighten this up a little bit, especially in the center. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Okay, I think that's good. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Forgot my dry ass skin. Oh, yes. Need some Mario spray. I love the way this turned out. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be wearing this on New Year's or if I'm gonna go with a different color scheme. I'm definitely gonna go dramatic. I just don't know if I'm gonna do these colors since I kind of already did this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore the living shit out of you because I know I talk a lot, but also I love to talk to you guys. And like I said, I've missed you because I haven't been on a regular filming schedule. Sometimes it's just fun to talk about life. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing new year. I'm gonna have probably my next video will be the best of beauty for 2019, honey. And there's a lot, so I'm sure it's gonna be a long one. I'm sure this is a long video. But yeah, make sure you guys leave me um, your goals. I, again, I would love to read your goals for 2020. Don't feel ashamed, don't feel embarrassed. I sometimes feel like, oh, should I talk about this? Should I bring this up? But also I want people to feel comfortable talking to me because Let's share in this community. Let's share. Let's all be friends. Let's come together and empower each other. And yeah, leave me your goals for the new year. Let me know. I would love to hear them. And I want to applaud you and give you guys thumbs up. I love you guys so much. This will probably be my last video of the new year. I think so. And I want to thank you guys for all your support, especially the ones who are regular commenters, the ones who talk to me regularly and leave me comments regularly and support me. I appreciate it more than you know. Your comments never go unnoticed. I hope everybody knows that. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Have an amazing New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in my next video.